Hey guys, this is Dan with Gears and Gadgets. Today we're going to be doing a sponsored review of the Phoenix Geo Series 14 inch mini light bar. And as part of this sponsorship, Phoenix has provided me with a coupon code to pass on to my viewers, GG10. If anybody is interested in this Geo Series mini light bar, I will include a link in the description down below, but before you go to the website, I do recommend that you search Google or contact your local uh, police department and ask them what the laws are relative to what lights you can and cannot run on your vehicle. But every state has different rules and regulations on the lights that you can run. And some states will even specify where you can and can't use these lights uh, in certain situations. So it's very important to pay attention to these details. Definitely research it. So as you can see on their website here, they have a ton of different color combinations to really make sure that whatever your state laws are, there is most likely a bar with a color combination that will suit you with this $200 Geo Mini Light Bar. And if you have to go up into the Fusion Mini where you can start customizing what the different lights may or may not be and what those modules and the light spreads, you can do that. But we'll just assume that you're most likely able to find something in this Geo Mini Light Bar. So you go ahead and make your selection, you can throw it in the cart, and Again, to remind you that there is that coupon code of GG10, which will save you 10%, which will drop this light bar from $199 down to $179. So go ahead and take advantage of that coupon code if you would like. And after you do that, go ahead and leave a comment down below of what you think of this bar if you've had a chance to run with it, and just let me know your thoughts. Now this would not be a proper YouTube review without the obligatory unboxing, which it took me more time to blur out my address information on this than it probably did for the actual unboxing itself. You open this up, it's got some bubble wrap, it's wrapped up really good. I mean this is a, just a very good packaging, no fear of anything being damaged in transport. Pretty simple actually and I appreciate it. Instruction manual, light bar, and that is what it is. Just be careful cutting it open, don't scratch anything up, and there you go. So usually with these bars, what you get is kind of a rigid magnet. The first thing I noticed is that these are actually kind of spring-loaded, so it'll fit the curvature of the roof of your vehicle. Really nice little attention to detail there. These magnets are huge. They're strong. You get the cigarette plug with the momentary to switch flash patterns, and you have a one and two, so you can actually set two different flash patterns if you have two different scenarios. And to just run through some of the other important specs, this is a 12 volt light bar, so it does plug into your regular cigarette lighter. As I've said, it does have a 10 foot cable. It has a five amp current draw. It does meet SAE class one. It of course is made in the USA, and it j gives you everything you need right out of the box. There is nothing complicated to this. You plug it in, and it just works. So now we'll take it outside for a proper review because, well, nobody really wants to see a light bar working on a desk. So here you can see this bar is very visible during the day. That's one of the things I can say with light bars is that you can pretty much pick up anything that will kind of display okay at night, but to be able to see it during the day is absolutely key. So one of the tests that I ran is out here in the sun, you can see with that sun glaring down, this bar is very visible from a very good distance, making sure that you stay safe in any situation that you might be in during the day. Now on the flip side of that, I have actually had bars that during the night have been too bright. And the problem with that is that you want to be seen, but you don't want to be blinding the people that are coming up from behind you, as that's just as dangerous as not being seen to begin with. So this light does both very, very well. It's visible during the day and not so blinding at night that you're really distracting the people that you're trying to tell not to hit you. So I, I think that's a really delicate balance uh, to really walk that line. And sometimes I think that can be difficult for these companies to do that because they ultimately are trying to sell that ultimate high output element. LED light. So you need something that's going to be discreet. You can throw it up on top of the truck. It's not going to be some big monstrosity. And one thing I do have to say is I have run a full-size light bar on my truck in the past, and I actually did some MPG runs with that. I'll link that video up above. Those full-size light bars can take a really big hit on your MPG. So if you don't need it, as much as it might look cooler to do it, or it might be something that you think you might need, if you're going to be running highway miles or if you're like me and you work in a job where you get reimbursed for your mileage but you're still paying for your fuel I do recommend you maybe make the smarter decision and go with something that's a little bit smaller it's not going to affect your MPG nearly as much 
I ran this light bar from Phoenix all the way to Bakersfield, California, which is a 500 mile trip. And I have to say that I noticed nearly no impact on my gas mileage. Now, when I ran the full size light bar, I noticed a significant mileage hit. So I do have to say that I'm actually pretty convinced that the smaller light bar is the way to go for most people. Again, it's priced right. And it's also just not as intrusive as those larger bars might be. So why do I think you should consider this Phoenix Geo 14 inch mini light bar if you are in the market for something like this? Well, let me tell you. This is their most affordable uh, and they call effective American made lighting for utility vehicles. With my history in construction, this will be the light that 95% of the people in the private market call it construction vehicles, plows, tow trucks, those types of people would be purchasing something in this range. And the best thing about this type of setup with Phoenix is that typically you would have had to go to your local construction supply or upfitter for commercial vehicles and buy a bar like this. And when you have to do that, you're clearly paying a markup fee. Now for a bar that's mounted magnetically on your roof, not totally necessary to have to do that. So to be able to buy this direct from the manufacturer with a five-year warranty, have it be weatherproof, and just have a really high quality bar is really a great opportunity for most people that are looking for an entry-level bar like this. So with all that being said, I'll just wrap this video up by giving you guys all of the flash patterns here. I'll just run through them from front to back and I will leave the video on that note. So thank you very much for watching. Again, if this is your first time tuning in, please click that subscribe button down below. Remember, likes go a long way to help support the channel and we will see you guys next time.